Hello everyone and welcome to today's installment of Beyond the Mask. In today's episode we're going to be taking a closer look at the new Demi Lovato Scream 6 music video and highlighting some of the hidden scenes and easter eggs that can be spotted throughout. For the most part the video is mainly Demi herself, featured in Ghostface-esque scenes filmed specifically for the music video itself. However, there are several new clips from Scream 6, some we've seen before, others are new. Today I'm going to be highlighting the new ones, so let's jump straight in. The first new shot is from a Halloween party in the movie. We know this movie is initially set on Halloween night. It features Devin Nakoda's character, Annika, dressed up as a pumpkin as she approaches Tara at a party. The next shot is of Tara as she smiles at Annika. The following shot sees Mindy Meeks Martin and Annika once again. Both of them are sat together on a sofa, definitely confirming these two are an item. The following new shot is in an apartment kitchen. This is obviously the same scenes we've seen in previous trailers where we see the characters climbing out of the window for safety. But this specific shot features Sam, Mindy, Chad and Tara stood inside a kitchen with an Annika sat in the far background of the apartment. The next shot shows Mindy as she glances from Tara to Chad. Following this we get a shot of Tara and Chad looking longingly at each other. This appears to be a different moment in the movie to the previous clip as the pair are wearing different outfits. But these two shots confirm the rumours I discussed two months ago that these two seemingly are romantically linked in the movie. The following new clip has the characters back in their previous outfits with Tara and Chad both asleep on Mindy. All of them look pretty defeated at this point. We then see Josh Sagara's character, Danny, staring at the floor. I think this looks like the same scene as the previous clip. Following that, we have an interesting shot of Gail Weathers holding Sam's hand. Now, this is interesting because leakers have stated that these two aren't on friendly terms due to Gail writing a book on the events of Scream 5, but this shot looks quite intimate. So I'm not sure that's going to be true. The following clip is Sam looking at Gail and she doesn't look angry with her. The next shot sees Tara, Sam, Chad and Mindy all jumping up from the dining table in panic. Tara is seemingly holding a phone, indicating the killer will make contact with them. It seems like maybe the killer has sent something to Tara as Sam appears to be moving but can't take her eyes away from the phone. Following, Tara jumps up also. The shot after sees a continuation of that scene as we see the four entering the living area of the apartment. Chad grabs Tara's hand as they look towards the door. We then see different shots of the characters glancing towards the door. Mindy is joined by Annika in this scene. The next shot changes to the supermarket scene. We see Tara crying and clinging to Sam as Ghostface stalks the store in the search of them. The next new shot is of Tara looking towards Sam, both of them are visibly upset. Then, following this, the four Woodsboro survivors are all putting their hands together, accompanied by Josh Segarra in the scene. This seems to be a scene from earlier, when Tara and Chad were all asleep on Mindy. Another scene following this takes us back to the dining table in the apartment, with Chad reaching for Tara's hand, which is then followed by all of them placing their hands together. So. Now we've seen all the new clips, I want to discuss the symbolism in the made for trailer scenes from the video. The angle of the video is to focus on the four survivors, we rarely see any of the other cast. This just focuses on the four Woodsboro survivors and Demi is accompanied by three different people. They attend a showing of a ghost face movie which eventually results in them being attacked, only for the video to end with it being on the screen as they watch it unfold. This could be symbolism for the plot of the movie. The four survivors are the main focus, with Ghostface attacking them once again with the hopes of making it to the big screen. Another element is that Demi, the main character, is seen projecting an element of darkness in the video. This could represent Sam Carpenter, as the idea of her tiptoeing slowly to darkness has already been hinted at and will allegedly play a big part in this movie. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, 
There's a darkness inside of me.